Hi guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Allie. This is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. If we want to shop, we need to yep. fast. Okay. Because you guys were at Page Turner Books today. <laughs> I didn't realize you were already recording. Yes, we are at Page Turner Books today. <laughs> and oh my gosh, we're back. This is, they, they, they liked us so just much. moved. They oh. wanted us back. Yeah. <laughs> no, we asked to come back. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if one day we get to the level where people ask for us? That would be cool. Ask us away, please. <laughs> that made no sense ask away ask us away ask us away please no uh we wanted to come back because they haven't since moved locations Mm -hmm. we kind of briefly mentioned that in our nerd party because we were right outside yeah that was fun it was fun i haven't been inside yet oh i had okay not really sure where we we're at. I know we didn't introduce ourselves at all. You said you haven't been inside the new store. Oh, I'm, I'm Bree. I'm Allie. <laughs> We're introducing ourselves in the middle of the episode because that's how professional we are. Mm-hmm. And but you know what's even more professional than us? This amazing new store we're in. Yes, it is actually really awesome. It's so nice. I I loved the old one because it was like it was very. I felt long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was um. And there was stuff everywhere. This one has stuff everywhere too, but it's much wider, so mm-hmm. it's easier to see everything. I love this layout. And now the comic book store is in Page Turner. Oh, it's yeah. not next door. So that's super helpful. Mm-hmm. This is where John was all of Nerd <laughs> Party was <laughs> looking in here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we were like, where is he? Yeah. He was in here in their comic section. And he tasked me with looking their comics again. <laughs> and we show up and they're like, we're having a 30% comic book store or comic <laughs> sale right now. <laughs> I was like, of course, John, I, I tried to get him to come. <laughs> <laughs> he could be doing that the whole time we're here. Uh, that's when I was, he just had a really long day. He oh. had two really long days of work where like he woke up at like five in the morning and he only just got home like an hour ago. Oh yeah. That's long. So, well, fair, but I also agree. Anyways, you guys, so this place, okay, let's, let's first give the aesthetics of the beautiful new yes. place. Yes. Well, we're in the back corner right now. So, I mean, we can, we can <laughs> see a corner of this door, but walking in, it's just bookshelf upon bookshelf upon bookshelf. And then at the top again, they they st- they kept their if you go back and listen to our OG mm-hmm. page turner episode mm-hmm. they kept the same style where they got their vibe uh, got, I didn't look and see do you, do they still have their skeleton I didn't see we'll have to find out we will we're we're in September right now so I would think no remember he just stays up year round I know because we came in uh, December last year but I would think he for sure would be oh, out yeah. if he is out today it was really stupid i saw a pumpkin pie like thing at i think it was mcdonald's and i was was sitting there looking at it i was like why is pumpkin flavor out already (laughs) and i was like oh duh it's fall (laughs) me i went through uh bigfoot i'm like do you have pumpkin flavor stuff yet and they're like yes and i was like okay i want hot chocolate with something pumpkin and they're like <laughs> i suggest putting the pumpkin pie flavor in the hot chocolate mm. instead of pumpkin spice and i was like okay oh my gosh i know you don't like pumpkin pie nope <laughs> but it was so good <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the worst time of year for me because i'm not a fan of all that pumpkin flavoring give me a different for me i'm like give me apple but like that's a flavor everyone can get always caramel apple again you can always get that. man no i i'm all about i'm i'm a white i'm basic white girl give me that but i don't drink coffee so does that make me a basic white girl i don't do the mochas or lattes yeah <laughs> <laughs> you still get excited with the pumpkin i love pumpkin flavored things oh my gosh okay anyways <laughs> so we're gonna all that to say we're gonna look for their skeleton yes <laughs> But we're back in the, um, where they do the, the 
horror book club. So mm-hmm. I, this time I see and I remember for Christmas painting. I did not see that last time we were here. Oh, I think you did. Oh, did I? I think so. <laughs> I remember it. Oh, um, I'm glad you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we want to chat some more because they got some fun stuff going on. First off, yeah. actually, we just talked about the. Oh, yeah. Their horror book club. So uh, coming up. Oh, this is their book selection. Their choices. Ooh. We got the September House Schrader's Cord. That's an H. Chork. That's. <gasps> what was that? That was the notification. <laughs> Why did it do that? That was the weirdest sound ever. Uh, no, it's, it's Schrader's Cord. That's how you spell cord. Cord? Cord. Oh, like a, like a guitar cord. cord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to spell guitar <laughs> chord before. <laughs> Ghost Station and the Reformatory. Ooh, the the, the, well, the Reformatory looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Click on it. I want to read the okay. description. Okay, we're on their website right now, you guys. Mm-hmm. It's h a s b e r t s dot com. Mm-hmm. Go check it out. Okay, give me the description mm-hmm. by ten and five two. Yes, a gripping page turning <laughs> novel nice. set in Jim Crow, Florida, Ooh, that follows Robert Stevens Jr. as he's sent to a segregated reform school that is a chamber of terrors where he sees the horrors of racism and injustice for the living and the dead. Ooh. Ooh. Does this mean it came out June 1950 or? No, it's set in set. Gracetown, Florida, June 1950. I see. Yes. Oh, there's lots. I know you. Just scroll oh, you want to read it all? I was going to read it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. 12-year-old Robbie Stevens Jr. is sentenced to six months at the Gracetown School for Boys, a reformatory for kicking the son of the largest landowner down in defense of his older sister, Gloria. So far, I like Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> so begins Robbie's journey further into the terrors of the Jim Crow South and the very real horror of the school they call the reformatory. Ooh, Robbie has a talent for seeing ghosts mm-hmm. or haints. But what was once a comfort to him after the loss of his mother has become a window to the truth of what happens at the reformatory. Ooh, creepy. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, well, that's just one of the many book club horror mm-hmm. book clubs they do. Ghost Station, that sounds cool. But anyways, so you guys, go check out their website. It's super cool. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to go shopping. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> that's my favorite part about doing this. I, know. <laughs> I already told my kids, I was like, okay, kids. I'm going to a bookstore today. <laughs> what books do you want? <laughs> um, but there's some uh, stuff coming up. Yes. So if you're into horror, like who? Oh, hold on. We oh. should say where this is located. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you're right. We have not even, we are great at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because we've been here before and we did the nerd party. So we... Just assume, but not yeah. everybody has seen yeah. it. Yeah, people might be jumping in. Yeah, not having listened. I'm trying to get cat hair off my mic. <laughs> so, Page Turner Books is at in at <laughs> it's in, at Kent. <laughs> it's at Kent, Washington. <laughs> so, um, it's right down the road from Kent AMC. Yeah, Kent Station AMC. Yeah. One so. of my favorite movie theaters. They have the heated seats. I said that last time. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's where we went and saw it. it ends with us. And man, it was so warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> okay. So, but what, what we got going on? Okay. So October 12th, if you are a fan of anything fall, you should come check out Page Turner Books for their fall festicon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who? Well, first off. Let's also say that there's a cider and ale trail that's going on same day, and they're going to have a brewery in their, uh, I was going to say in their back, but that doesn't sound right. In their store. <laughs> <laughs> the back of their store. Yeah. But it's a ale, a cider and ale trail. That's like trick or treating with alcohol. Shoot, I should have me and John do this. So you just walk from, right? Yeah. Store to store and you get I would some booze. Assume. That's an ale Hold trail, on, right? Let me. I don't know. Here, scan the QR code. That's what I was about to do. We will take a picture of this because you can buy tickets in advance. This is just for the ticket, but I bet you. It might say stuff on it too. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, read about it. The Cider and Ale Trail weaves through historic downtown Kent, showcasing a hand-picked selection of craft breweries, cideries, and distilleries. How cool. With tasting tickets in hand, get ready to embark on a flavor-filled adventure through local businesses, each hosting a unique cidery or brewery offering their best brews. That's actually kind of smart and cool. Like, each store is going to put a brewery in there because then people will have to come in and see what's going on. I think it's genius. I think that's even smarter of page turners for doing Fall Festicon the same day then. Yeah. So talk about what that is. Fall Festicon. Fall Festicon is... Whoops, that's the ale trail still. Hold on. So it says if you're a fan of comic books, anime, pop culture, fall, Festicon is for you. Don't miss this fun capturing nostalgic scholastic book fair with a twist. Ooh. Oh, that actually sounds awesome. I always hear, you know, you see those memes that are like, I wish there were scholastic book fairs for adults. <laughs> this is this it. Is it. <laughs> you guys. Come check out Paige Turner <laughs> books. <laughs> But basically, they're going to have a bunch of guests. There's quite a few people. Okay. So let me tell you. So the Steven Crypto Show podcast is going to be there. And so if you listen to that podcast, that's exciting. (laughs) Author CJ Hozak of The Slayer's Magic is going to be here. Ooh. Author Riley G. Powers of Summer with Sasquatch is going to be here, which... (laughs) That sounds awesome. I love his, his picture with, with like he's Sasquatch. <laughs> How cute! <laughs> I love it. And then, oh, hey, Aaron Ryan's coming back. Oh. Aaron Ryan was our buddy from the nerd party. He, he was, was right next to us. He's our next door neighbor, mm-hmm. and he's going to be on our pods sometime soon. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be chatting with him within the next few weeks, so you'll get that episode here soon. Oh, when are we chatting with him? The twenty second. So he'll have done this. Oh, so we'll get to talk to him about it, right? Because oh. this is happening mm. the 12th? September 22nd. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we'll talk to him about it. He'll promote it more. Yeah. So stick around for that one. Yeah. Oh, and then... Oh, he was also <gasps> in Grimm. Grimm. They've got actor Russell Hodgkinson coming in. He's from Z Nation and Grimm. That's, like, impressive. That's, mm-hmm. like, a... I don't recognize him. I... That was one of the shows Cameron and I were watching, and then when he died, I stopped watching it, but I'm really mad because I want to keep watching it, but my brain has not let me yet. Yeah. But great show. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, if you're in the area, this is a place to be. Because yeah, you got the cider thing. What is Mm -hmm. it? Cider and ale trail. (laughs) I was like, I don't drink cider. I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Who cares? (laughs) Me, I'm like... Yes, give me a cider. Actually, and John can have the ale. I'll have the cider. There you go. <laughs> and then come hang out and see some cool authors and actors mm-hmm. and buy some comic books. Mm-hmm. And there's some podcasts going to be here. Yeah. I wonder. You guys have to go and say, see if they're as cool as we are and let you be on it. Yeah, you should Ooh. check. You should check. Maybe we started a thing and everybody's like, oh, what a good idea. Oh, we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, my friend who I did was on her podcast for Bookish Flights. She's doing an event. And she was like, hey, I know you guys just did Nerd Party. Tell me what you did. And I told her how we had a station set up for people to come talk to us. And she was like, that's brilliant. I'm going to do that. Oh, wow. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes, yes. So then, you guys, more fun. You can go. We've been talking over it this oh, whole time. Okay. Yeah. More fun. So on Saturday, October 26th, 2 to 5 p.m. Oh, we didn't say what time. Oh, yeah. that's So the uh, Fall Festicon starts at 3 p.m. And then the Cider and Ale Trail starts at 6 p.m. And then they both end at 9. Perfect. Well, then what I was saying, <laughs> they have streets of treats. So you could take your kitties and go trick or treating <laughs> in all the stores. I've always wanted to do this, but of course, it's always on Halloween. Yeah. This one oh, is hey. not. This yeah. is the Saturday before. Yeah. So you should come. Yeah. I'm busy. But yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> oh, yep. Me too. You are too. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all should go and take pictures and send them to us. Yeah. Oh, oh, I sure. love that on their picture right here silence of the lambs is right there oh that's cool we're talking about their website you guys go check out their website Mm-hmm. 
Anyways. Oh, they also have misery. Of course, they gotta have all the Dune. That's a great picture they got there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you guys, so this um, Streets of Treats, 2 to 5 p.m. Look how cute that is. We'll post a picture of this, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, we can QR code this. Let's see if it tells us. Okay, it says Streets of Treats. It's um, 307 West Grove Street, Kent. So right here. Celebrate the harvest. Is that West Grove or Grove? Oh, that's Gow. Oh, yeah, there's no R in there. I should give the right address before I send people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go to Grow Street. <laughs> Celebrate the harvest season with fun activities for all ages. Show off your creative creativity and dress in your favorite costume. Participating downtown Kent merchants are welcome, welcoming little ghouls and goblins and visitors to shop and get a spooktacular treat. Please be sure to bring your weatherproof bag for treats. So bring your own bag, you guys. Downtown businesses mm-hmm. will be waiting for you. This is a free rain or shine community event. How cool. That's yeah, so that's fun. awesome. Like you can buy tickets, but it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just so they can get a head count. Yeah. Kind of like with Nerd Party. Yep. I think that's a really good idea. Mm-hmm. That's super smart. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you guys. So we're happy to be back. Mm-hmm. Back. Back. Mm-hmm. We're so grateful that they said yes when we reached out. Yeah. And we're definitely going to be nerd partying it up next year. Oh, heck yeah, we are. Yeah, it was so much fun last year. I know. We've already got like other places on our other like um, like nerd party. What are they? Street oh, fairs. like events? Yeah, events. Mm-hmm. We're like, okay, that was so fun. Let's do more. But mm-hmm. I'm so glad nerd party was our intro. I know because it was such a, it was so cool and everyone was so nice. Mm-hmm. It was perfect. It was a perfect intro and a perfect like, okay, this is what we will do if we do events. Yeah. It was really mm-hmm. fun. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Just for funsies. Because we're a fun podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Always. We have Guess the Kids movies. Now, I already know a bunch of these, but we have to describe them to you before we can <laughs> say what they <laughs> are, even though I totally for sure know what these yes. all are. <laughs> so they're emojis. My mom printed these out for us and she's a second grade teacher and it's like an activity she did with her kids. I was going to say, did she do it in class? Yeah. Okay. So, and she printed off an extra one for me and Allie. <laughs> she printed off actually two. I know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first one is an up arrow, a balloon, a balloon, a balloon, an old guy <laughs> and a house. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. <laughs> Up. Yes. <laughs> we don't have an answer key if we get them right or wrong. Uh, my mom has the answer key, oh. so I could text her if I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got a princess, a frog, and a heart. Could it be princess and the frog? Oh, I was going to say it was the, what's the Tatiana one? Isn't that the That's frog? princess and the frog. Oh, I thought it was the frog princess. Oh, you're thinking of the swan princess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen that movie once. <laughs> It's not one I care about that much. <laughs> oh my gosh. A panda and a punch. Hmm. Kung Fu Panda. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm giving you this one. We've got a mermaid, a conch shell, a boat that looks like the Titanic, <laughs> feet prints, a man and a heart. Could it be the little mermaid? Probably. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I love the Little Mermaid. <laughs> um, we got a world, a monkey, a gorilla, a don't talk monkey, and a cover your ears monkey. Is this supposed to be Planet of the Apes? But they're kids' movies. I know. So now I'm confused. Is it Tarzan? But why would it? I, I was thinking it was Tarzan, but there's no man. Right. So then I'm like Jungle Book, but you would think there would be like a bear. And a book. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we actually don't know that one. We were cocky. Yeah, we were. <laughs> World. I mean, is that? Do you guys know? <laughs> I'll take a picture of this too. I know. Um, unless there's like some Disney like documentary oh, about a apes. monkey one. Yeah, there is. It's like the kids would know that. It's a. It's a. What is it? Yeah, monkey Kingdom or something. It's like a Disney nature one. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe. That's not a very kid movie. 
No. <laughs> well, I'm going to text my mom. <laughs> well, maybe she'll text me the answer. <laughs> All right. Got a lion and a crown. Easy peasy lion king. Oh, we should talk about James Earl Jones. Oh, oh you want to make me cry. Oh, I was so sad. <laughs> Why are you watching videos as we're podcasting? John sent it and I was trying to... Um, yeah, I cried. <laughs> I actually... Uh, it was so sad because... When was it? It was literally when we saw the Deadpool movie. And we saw the preview for Mufasa. Mm-hmm. In my head, I was like, oh, James Earl Jones. He's still around. Probably not for much longer, and I'm not going to be able to handle that. <laughs> and then, like, a month later, or not even, like, a week or two later. <laughs> I'm so sad. I literally, uh, I keep not, I keep just pretending it's fine. I know. I told my parents. I was like, did you know James Earl Jones died today? And my dad goes, uh, remember who you are. <laughs> and, like, he starts crying. I'm like, uh... <laughs> Oh, but I bet there's gonna be lots of um, Darth Vader toys and knickknacks around here. Honestly, that's what makes me sad. I'm like, why? Why are people posting about him doing other things? Like Vader is the one thing. Vader and Mufasa. That's all you need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I even I love the Lion King, but that's even second to Vader. He is Vader. Did he only do the voice, or did he do the walking too? No, he was too short to do the walking. Oh, he I just didn't did the know voice. that. <laughs> mm-hmm. He only did the voice because he has that booming, powerful voice. Yes, he does. Luke, <gasps> did you see what Mark Hamill posted? No, he just posted. I didn't even get to see the pictures. Sierra sent it to me. I was like, oh, I can't. But the caption was just "Rip, Dad." Oh. That's so sad. Oh Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I that one hurts. I know. It's it's too sad. No. We're losing all the the greats. I know. I then was like great at the Oscars. He's gonna be the in memorandum. Yes. Or whatever. I can never say he is. I know, man. I don't like that. And when are the Oscars? March. Okay. In February or March. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, all right, well, and hopefully my mom will text me the answer key yeah. so that I can figure out. Because I swear that's Planet of the Apes. But then I'm looking at them and you're right. Well, that one's not a, like, kids movie. Which one? Spider-Man? I mean, you know how many kids love Spider-Man? Too many. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> There's the Jungle Book. Inside Out. Uh, Toy Story mm-hmm. Cars. Cars Spider-Man Aladdin, Aladdin. Beauty and the Beast uh-huh. Frozen mm-hmm. That's the only one we That's don't know Literally Yeah Okay <laughs> um, uh, Oh yeah Alright you guys That's all we got for this But we're gonna end with We always tell you If you um, Rate us And review us We will read Mm-hmm. Your, your rating Your review Or your review And guess what We got one It's actually a really sweet one It's like a sleepover With your friends <laughs> Heck yeah I love listening to this podcast They do a great job Of making it seem like We're just a bunch of friends Hanging out Sharing a love of books That it ends with Us episode Is a favorite Aw mm-hmm. Good and who put- It was from T. Stencil Nice. Well, thanks, T. Stencil. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. It was also a five-star review. So. Yeah. Thank you. If you all want to give us a rating, we would appreciate it. Yes, we would. But anyway, so we give Page Turner Books five stars, too. Absolutely. You should come check them out. Absolutely. Kent, Washington. It's the best. And then come to their... Come to their Fall Festicon uh-huh. and Cider and Ale Trail. And Streets of Treats. Oh, I was going to say, and next year's Nerd Party. Oh, that too. <laughs> that too. Come see us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we don't have a with that. We don't have a with that, but what I was going to say is, on Monday, be sure to 
listen to. When is this coming out? So what? Silence. No. Yeah. Red, Red Dragon comes, comes out. So yeah. So Silence of the Lambs will oh. be out next. That's kind of perfect that I saw the Silence of the Lambs on their website. I know. <laughs> Meant to be. Fancy lamb. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you gave us five beautiful stars, reviewed, and subscribed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, on Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and on TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Shen Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See See you you next time. time.